People ask me all the time what I mix total ISO with. Honestly, I mix it with everything. Water, egg whites, Jay? Capone, Daisy. Jay, seriously? Don't. Wow. Do you like do you like wearing masks so much? You wear it in the I, house. I, I didn't I didn't realize I'm, I don't have to wear a mask right now. <laughs> Shout out to Sheep, by the way. What are you making? This is look. It's my this is my trifecta chicken and uh, my rice. Nice. I had some leftovers, which everyone knows. I'm not a leftover guy, right? I don't like reheating food, so I use the skillet to reheat my food instead mm. of. So you microwave people out there that hate your microwave food, this is an optional way to reheat even your meals from Trifecta, from my Himalayan sea salt, read that label. Yep. If, if Angie was here, she said, oh, this is a boring, she told me to put all this other seasoning <laughs> on it. She made this chicken for me before she left. Nice. Daisy, always nearby to food that one. She looks good, she got a haircut, look at that. More hairs in her face, come here. I know, her bangs. <laughs> so Capone's in Jersey. Oh, she took him, okay. I was wondering. Capone's in Jersey. Was so this is gonna be uh, our pre-workout meal of the day. All right, and today I'm gonna do something a little different with the training. I am going to do kind of an overall body like I'm gonna pick and choose like uh, for each body part, maybe like my favorite exercises to do. So what I'm gonna go through is I'm gonna do bicep, tricep, shoulder, chest, quads, hamstrings, calves, abs. Did not let me forget the abs. So today is gonna be an overall, if I was to train a full body workout, uh, the exercise, the one exercise I would pick to do. So I'm gonna actually do one exercise per body part and do an overall body. So if you're like on vacation or you're traveling or you've just been out of the gym and you're like, you know what, I wanna get a good workout, that's what I'm gonna feature today. Nice. So, so this is uh, this is gonna be meal number two. I had Copper Club this morning and today is, uh, today is July 24th or 5th, yeah. 25th I think. Birthday soon, coming. This is normally, bro, the USA weekend. That's right, that's right. This would have been the USA weekend. That's right, the last weekend of July. Damn. So there's our finished product. Yeah, it looks good. So this is like one cup of rice and uh, about six ounces of chicken breast. I don't know if it would fit the full-time bodybuilding. I was just gonna say, uh, you eyeball that. It looks more like a cup and a quarter, a cup and a half to me, but. <laughs> I don't know if this would fit the standards of you would eat eight ounces of chicken. We're on six. Did you did you see Zyka's post about the scale Ooh. on her story? You know Zyka from uh, from yeah. our uh, from Australia. Yeah, she posted that picture of you in the scale, and she said mood on her story. And I was laughing. We're going back and forth. She says, she says, yeah, he won't. Like, he's Jay's eyeballing his food. And she says, yeah, I, I gotta admit, I do the same thing. She says, well, not me. <laughs> did you ever use that scale? Is the question. <laughs> no, no, the one Keith gave you, the one big Keith gave you, probably. Ooh. Big Keith. Did he give me one? Yeah, that's the one we get, the same one as mine, you know, the portable one. I don't even think that's come out of the box. Uh, I'm sure it's not. It's a spare, just in case you need it. Keith, we love you, man. <laughs> I hope you're watching the video. I'm sure he is. This is going to be our uh, pre-workout meal. Daisy's happy. She just had her wet food. <laughs> We're ready all to right. rock. All right, all right. I like it. Here, put your tongue out. No, you do it. <laughs> he told me that already. <laughs> he, he, Scotty used to do that to people at the store all the time, and he would. We had one at the store. 
at Max Muscle. Oh, you had one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone that came in. You know those people that just want walk from business to business and sell stuff for like $5? Yeah. That we had bought one of them. So you needed a fly swatter for there? It used to get a lot of fly during the summer because it would leave the door open, remember? Yeah. So he would get one. But he likes zapping people with it. <laughs> Yeah, we're all partying here for the fourth. Yeah. And we were all up till like five in the morning, you know, we were in the jacuzzi and stuff, we had the fires going. <laughs> so, you know, I got a little buzz going and I was like, telling, telling the girls, I said, here, just touch this. I was at, actually, it only hurts on your fingers, but if you put it on your feet, it's not so bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Andrew was getting all mad, you know. So my pool guy comes on. My pool guy comes on Thursdays. What's today? Saturday, right? Uh, yeah, Saturday. So I still have to do. The problem is you see all these brown leaves on these. Things, yeah. Right? I wonder if people with some women in Vegas with hire you as a pool boy. <laughs> He could make some good money. <laughs> I sound like Angie. She's like, you're the best pool boy ever. <laughs> Is that what she's telling you? I think you should have a pool, though, if you come to Vegas. Oh, I'd love that, yeah. So Dave is looking for a house rental. So if you're in Las <laughs> Vegas watching this video, and you guys have a connect, a rental property for yep. rent, or you yep. know someone that might have a nice house for Dave, <laughs> What if someone hit me up with a... What is it? What if, if that's how I get the house? That would not be funny because of JTV. That would be funny. Yeah, I wish I owned rental property still. I'm thinking, you know, when I had my rental property, I think I had a nice house I rented for 1500 and I had a pool and everything. Wow. It wasn't far from here. Actually. Yeah. I've been looking. I've been looking. You know, so many people told me, I'm so glad you're moving to Vegas. It's awesome. Like, they watched the video and... Well, do they live here or are they just... Well, did I like, get out of Cali? Get out of Cali. Well, like, get out of Cali. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They're sick of reading the news, huh? Yeah. You see Big Sexy's running for mayor, huh? I saw that. Louis uh, Uridel. Yeah. Wow. Maybe because he doesn't want his gym to shut down anymore. <laughs> so if he's the mayor, he'll be able to keep it open. So I guess I can't go train out in California this week, huh? You're not going to be there. No. Vegas this week. Are you still going to work out or? Uh, we'll see. Depends how busy I am. You might not even get the train? I may not, may not, I may not do it. We'll see. When I'm on the work mode, it's like that comes first. So I switch from full-time YouTuber to full-time bodybuilder. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you ever leave the bodybuilding uh, <laughs> the bodybuilding round. Is that the street right there? <laughs> they like that. It gives them some work to do to clean yeah. it up, you know. <laughs> People ask me what my daily routine is, right? Yeah. And this is uh, this is definitely one of them, you know, when I, I eat. Can I come out here and make sure the pool is done? The bed's made. Bed's the first thing. The bed's always... That, that's how you can always tell a person. If you don't get up and make your bed, what does it say about you? It means you're lazy. <laughs> you what? make your bed in the morning? Yeah. Always? Yeah. Well, of course yeah. you're going to tell me that after... No, 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 no. I, I... <laughs> But well, what is the rule in your house? Is whoever gets up last makes the bed. But how does that work for you? Well, <laughs> Doesn't work out too well. Angie makes the bed <laughs> with my assistance a lot of times. But yeah, she'll make the bed. Okay. Because you're always the first one up. So. Well, no one, no one gets up before me. Usually. No. I'm always you're right. I'm always the first. One you, up. you don't sleep. You get up at 6 a.m. every day, like a farmer. From my dad. My dad I know. was like that too. You know? I know. Your dad didn't sleep. I think he was sleeping like four hours last time I talked to him the night. Something crazy. I tried calling him this morning. Yeah? He did not. He didn't answer that. Robert. Cool. I just had this curtain replaced. You probably don't even notice. It looks nice. This was a two-tone before. It was half, half tan, half, but it's brand new. And then she came and sewed the bottoms of these because they were all beat up from skimming. Oh, yeah. Back and forth. 
Nice. So, you fixed your speaker yet? No, it's still broken. Still broken, okay. They're coming to do all the sound. They're gonna do, um, they're gonna do all the system. And I'm gonna do a couple new TVs right here in this room. And then uh, they're gonna f fix the wires in the bedroom and uh, she's decorating. We got a big, we got a big uh, piece of art going here. Yeah, that would look good. Look at the doggies. I want to show this picture because this is important. People will love this. Do you remember this? 2009. Yeah, that was the crew. So who's in that? Brian, Brad, me, Nate, <laughs> Eric, Eric all Team Cutler out. And then Big Dave, <laughs> full-time bodybuilding. Kevin Horton took that picture and sent yeah. it to you. But this was how many weeks out, you think? Uh, I want to say six. That's when you did that shoot, those black and white pictures with Kevin, remember? I think it was three weeks. Was it? I think, and then I went and saw Chris Lund the next week. Okay. And, uh, and that's when we, we figured out that I was probably going to win. Yeah, I remember Peter McGuff had got some picture from Kevin, and he said, tell Gina to change anything. <laughs> Peter had said. Really? Yeah, because he knew you were at it. And Kevin said, I said that story many times, Kevin said, if people thought they saw the best Jay Cutler yet, they're sadly mistaken, he's coming. He was so excited. Because he was the first one to see, you know. He was always one. He was excited. He's always been a huge fan of yours. Big supporter, huh? Kevin, yeah, great. All right. We're gonna go hit it. Lift factory. We're gonna go hit it and uh, get some more filming done. Yep, yep. The whole nine. <laughs> That's a secret right there, bro. Oh. Oh, it says secret on the thing. Oh, no. Heist Tim. Uh-oh. That's not going to be like Legend, is it? The Legend Pro. We're testing, testing, testing. And it works really well. So you guys haven't seen fundamentals yet. This is the new. Did you try? I didn't give you any to try yet. I don't think so, no. All right, so read that. Read Alan and creatine. You can't even read the label, can you? No, Are I can't, I can't. Okay. I can't see the label, but not on the phone. <laughs> Terrible. Old age. You're getting there. A few more days. He'll be old. I mean, it's almost Arnold's birthday. So this is a chair I'm building. So I'm trying to decide what I think we decided on. I, I think we decided on this. Oh, it's going to go in the bedroom, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is some of the artwork. I'm going to do some oh, of okay. these. Oh. These are going in the front entryway. Oh. On the table, and then we're looking at these kind of cushions. Probably these. Nice. That's the big piece of art that's going up. Oh, there. okay. Nice. Yeah. People were asking what your bathroom looks like and what kind of product you have, like grooming product you have in there. Did you see that on YouTube? That's so funny. It's a secret, man. I don't think we've ever shown your bathroom. We used to show it whenever you would pose for the Olympia because that was the best lighting there, remember? Yeah. yeah. I redid it now. Yeah. Bottoms up. <laughs> I'm using a little bit of alanine before training, which is what I did not put in my product in the pre-workout without before the fundamentals. That leucine is hard to mix up. I know. Alanine. It's better in a shaker than a yeah. in the glass, but. Right. The probiotic sales going off today, so the phone's going off like wild. Oh, nice. Yeah, her, she's thinking, are you going to leave now? Yeah, she knows. She doesn't like it. We're not going to leave for long, though, you know. You know that. 
So this pre-workout has like six grams of citrulline in it. So this is a really pumped up version. And some a lot of new ingredients in there, but uh, pretty good. Nice. What flavor is that? Sour candy, the sour number candy. one prevail flavor. That's right. Sour candy. That's right, that's right. Nice. So we're gonna go smash it up. All right. Are you gonna do the head funnel again? <laughs> this is repair, by the way. Okay. See if you do better this time. Oh. Right, keep talking shit. <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to keep this as a blooper. <laughs> They actually like the blooper, they want more of it, so. The what? <laughs> the bloopers. They want more bloopers. <laughs> That's funny. A little extra. 15 grams of carbs right here. So this is, uh, this is testing a new flavor. You would like this flavor. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because mm. then I'll give away the surprise to all the lucky viewers out here. <coughs> All right. Drink built. Big Joey. Joey snacks. on the wall. Aceto. <laughs> Did it sign? Yeah. Wow. He should be next to you, not next to Flex. <laughs> All right, first exercise, the standing calf raise. Now, I choose this exercise. I mean, this has always been the meat and potatoes exercise for calves. As you notice, I have my little one-two motion that I do 12 repetitions, always getting a deep stretch and a full contraction at the top. There's a couple pauses in there. Um, but always my go-to for calves. Second exercise, the seated leg curl. Uh, this is my favorite hamstring exercise. I started seeing improvement on my hamstrings once I found seated leg curls inside of the gyms. I used to travel 45 minutes actually to use a seated leg curl in my early days, um, 12 repetitions there. Uh, rope crunches for ab training. This has always been my go-to. I focus on 20 repetitions. As you see, I use it as a pad for my knees, um, really, really contracting the up and down motion, uh, squeezing the abs, obviously at the bottom and getting that great stretch. Uh, dumbbell shoulder press is great for the shoulders. Now, I love this movement. Um, as you see, I can you know, get a deep stretch. I come down almost touching the shoulders and the contraction at the top. Remember, I don't totally lock out keeping contraction on the shoulders themselves. Favorite chest exercise, the flat dumbbell press. I still stick to this. Although I don't uh, incorporate a lot of barbell training, 
The flat dumbbell, I focus on 12 repetitions, really squeezing. You'll see a couple pauses during the motion of this, um, really getting that full contraction. But as you see, my chest is being squeezed, especially at the top of the movement, okay? Uh, press downs for triceps. You guys see me lean into these. This is kind of a wide press. I use a pull down bar so I can go a little wider with the, with the grip. Um, 12 repetitions with this, really just trying to lock out and squeeze the triceps at the bottom, get that good stretch. Um, always my go-to from day one. Bicep exercise, ideal is gonna be the easy curl bicep curl. Now with this, I like the cambered bar, really works the brachialis, the biceps themselves, the lower biceps. Uh, one of my favorite movements. I may swing a little bit during this motion, but I focus on 12 repetitions. Uh, sometimes pyramiding the weight up. Now back training, reverse grip barbell row. This exercise I learned from the, the famous Dorian Yates, former Mr. Olympia. Um, take a shoulder width grip, uh, reverse, pull with my fingers, really get that contraction, focus on 12 repetitions. As you see, I do these off the floor. That is my ideal for that. Really, really good uh, back builder. Now second, exercise for uh, back is going to be uh, the reverse grip pull down. Okay, this exercise, um, I take a neutral grip, really good for the lower lats, also, um, you know, your upper back, um, really accentuating the front double bicep, um, ideal movement for that. Okay, 12 repetitions. Uh, forearms, now I do the wrist curl on a bench, as you see with an Olympic bar, uh, really just trying to contract. I did 12 to 15 repetitions of this, really trying to get that thickness um, of the biceps. Works really, really well, um, you know, for your forearm. So, you know, it gives that arm the overall look. Uh, so, you know, you, you don't have that discrepancy between the forearm and the bicep itself. Now, glutes. I put in glutes because I want to focus. I always did glute training when I was Mr. Olympia. Um, I love the kickback movement, the, the butt blast and all these different variations, but trying to focus on 10 or 12 reps of each leg. Um, this was my ideal movement, uh, really just trying to squeeze, okay? Now, uh, also for leg training, we did the front barbell squat, okay? So as you see, this is a variation. You can do this on a Smith machine. People that ask me about hack squats, I love this exercise. It was great for building the front of my quads. Uh, really, really uh, focus on the parallel to the ground movement. Um, really kind of keeping the contraction of the quads, but you know, the bar sits on front. Uh, this was one of my favorite exercises go to for winning the Mr. Olympia title. All right, so leg extension. Now, this is a great, it's kind of confusing with this exercise because. Some people have this as a finisher or starting movement. I like to start and finish sometimes with this, but you know, always you know, get the knees warmed up. Always my go-to exercise, really bringing those cuts in. 12 repetitions, you know, sometimes 15, uh, sometimes a higher volume exercise. This might be four or five sets that I actually do this movement, but it's really, really good for getting the legs warm, getting the condition in there, and getting that full contraction. <laughs> Yo, what happened? Someone's Uber just left. Wow, you see that? That stinks. Hi, welcome to South Park. Can I help you today? Hey, do you guys have soft serve ice cream? I'm sorry? Do you have a soft serve ice cream cone? Uh, yeah, we do have an ice cream cone. I would like one, please. Okay. A vanilla one. Okay. That's it. That's all. And it's gonna be one seventy-two. First one, though. Nice. I'll get there. Damn, talk about inflation, bro. It used to be a dollar. Yeah, it used to be ninety-nine cents. They jacked it up since the COVID stuff. Really? You think they're gonna give me change or? Here, yes. You know, in California, they won't give you change. Nope. No more change. So you talk about that so people on YouTube can hear. So. Tell them, what, tell them about your experience. They basically said that unless you pay with the exact change, uh, you don't get your change back. So if you pay for something that costs nineteen thirty-five, and you pay with 20 uh, 
mostly you know what mostly to be honest with you mostly at the uh, uh, self self checkout and they say that there's a short uh, short uh, in change yeah at the Federal Reserve and uh, you have to go wait at the main register if you actually want to have change back okay but many other places don't accept cash at all that's what's going on you know like businesses they refuse cash yeah wow and I even saw uh, an article about the Bank of America one of the Bank of America CEO said the same thing they're pushing for a cashless society so <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> what do our bankers think about that that follow us? Please comment below. Yeah. Give us some uh, inside information. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. All our Bitcoin people are going to be like, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. <laughs> no. Any Bitcoin experts out there? I'm sure there's a lot. Eric's uh, brother-in-law made like millions with it. I know a lot of people that did. Yeah. Izzo does well with it, you know. Really? It was Izzo's birthday, you know, a couple days ago. I, I wish him happy birthday. You did, right? Yeah, happy birthday, Izzo. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah. I think I didn't sneeze around people at the gym. I know. Isn't that weird, dude? Do you ever find yourself you, you need to sneeze in a I grocery store or something? I sneeze in a mask now. When I'm wearing the mask, I have to sneeze. I know, but mask. even then, people just look at you like crazy eyes. <laughs> Anti, but, you're gonna have to have, have, come up with an anti-sneeze medication. That's, I know that's terrible. You would have never even thought about it twice before, and now it's like you can't even sneeze in public. Dude, I have sneezing attacks. You've seen my I sneezing know. attacks. I know. Me right? too. I've got allergies. Yeah, but I I sneeze like 50, 20 times. times. Over, yeah. yeah, me too. Mostly in the morning for some reason. I don't know why. Well, you have a deviated septum. I do. Yeah. That's what's causing your snoring. Oh. That's what's that's what the issue usually is. Okay. Wow. Well. So you have to have surgery to fix it. Really? Yeah, we'll take care of your snoring. Oh boy. Who's had deviated septum surgery on this channel? I'm sure there's a lot of people. <laughs> that can't feel good, I'm sure. Well, no, it fixes the, I mean, dude, you either snore or whatever, you know? Yeah. I have to go see a, a nose, ear, and throat specialist. Yeah, that's what they're going to tell you. You have a deviated septum. Wow. Hmm. Full-time bodybuilding. Yeah. That's what it does. <laughs> All right. Let's see that cone. <laughs> Let's see what we got. What's going to come through that window when that window opens? Fudge Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Post workout. This is the post. <laughs> I can't believe they have fat free soft serve. It. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shit's like melting when it hits the. Of course. Sun. It's 106 right now. As soon as I leave that window. You said it was 91. Well, now it's 106 in this part of town. They got hot fast. Cool. Enjoy. This is how a real man takes his protein. They don't say much about the spoon anymore, do they? No. You notice that? Yeah. Because they got used to it. You gotta show you gotta show the label on this though. The flavor. Yeah. Not available. <laughs> Except for you. When will it launch by the time this is yeah. going to be out before then, I won't it. Uh, I don't know. What's your uh, timeline on this? I think next week. Maybe. It'll be close. There you go. It's yum. Good flavor. Very good. I think that's the best one yet. I think so. 
brag about the chocolate forever. I knew I had to have something else I could brag about. You keep raising the bar, it's gonna get tough. All right, next one. Nice. Isolate protein never tastes so good. True. <laughs> All right, so we just wrapped up a a leg workout, and I had to I had to put everything in there so I didn't forget anything. <laughs> um, as you guys know, you know we've been working really hard with YouTube and really just trying to give the viewers and and you people that actually might just listen to the videos um, while you're doing other things. And I realize that some is visual, some is just audio, but um, you know a lot of questions get asked to me about ideally what are some of the best workouts and everyone has their their reasons why they train on certain schedules and how many hours they spend each day training um, but I, what I preach is that each workout is different for each person and your diet is a huge huge part of it your sleep pattern is a huge part but you know you, when people go to the gyms it's sometimes the gym atmosphere uh, we're living in different times right now that don't allow us to really work to full capacity sometimes and we're very limited and I know some of you are watching this video staying home and not having gyms to train at so a lot of questions like hey what would be your ideal full body workout and although I I don't sit there and ever say I trained full body except when I was on vacation or I was limited during the quarantine sometimes I would say you know what I'm gonna do three or four body parts I don't know if I ever did a full body workout but what I want to show is for you people that might train three days a week and have breaks and say, you know what, I don't, I want to train my full body. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you're trying to get to the Olympia level, I'm not suggestive of training a body part three times a week. But if you're trying to stay in great shape and you feel you can sustain that, that load, that workload, there's nothing wrong with that. So that's why I wanted to put out this video to show you guys okay, these are my go-to exercises, And someone may argue and say, well, I've heard you say this or say that, you know, and like I go through different phases on what I think is the best and what not. But if I'm talking for general overall training that's gonna have the best ability to help build the body, you know, remember I'm talking about the diet and the sleep patterns being in place. This workout routine, these exercises will definitely get you some progression and that's all we care about i mean now when i started training back in 1991 if you asked me what kept me going because we all look for motivation the progression of my physique always kept me going so if i saw my arms getting a little bigger or my legs getting bigger um or even the stubborn body part that wasn't growing that motivated me to be better so i would read the magazines and see okay who had the best arms or best legs or best back training and i would try to uh, copy that routine that that person did. So that's why I put up this content because you've seen the success of my career. Um, I may not have had the best arms or the best legs or best back or, but I had a complete package and I had to learn through trial and error to get there. So when I talk about training with volume training, when I talk about doing reps of 12 or more or give or take 10 or more, uh, I've always found that worked best for me. Now, some people may argue there's, there's a different rep range scheme or, you know, the time under tension is different or I use heavier weights and less volume. I'm not knocking against that. I'm just telling you what worked great for my physique and what I did my whole career and I'm still doing today at 46 years old where I don't have the joint pain. I don't have the restrictions. My flexibility is there. Yes, there was a lot of the factors that helped me be in this position at this age, but I'm a retired professional bodybuilder that's spreading the knowledge of experience. And there's nothing more. You can read a textbook. You can listen to different theories from these so-called experts. Okay. But when you lived it day in and day out, like I did for 20 plus years as a professional bodybuilder, like I did every routine there was, I trained my calves every day. I trained, you know, low reps, high reps, uh, you know, all the, all the different routines that you hear out there, you know, the high intensity training, I tried all that stuff. And I fell back to what I call the volume training, uh, you know, blood in the muscle, uh, not, ne don't necessarily focus on how much weight I push. It's all about how you feel the movements, how you react that day. Every day is gonna be different. I always said not every day is gonna be a rock star workout. So if you guys wanna comment below, I appreciate the comments, whether it's good or bad. Um, if you agree or disagree, I'm not gonna, 
not going to come on. If you're going to come on insult, then I'll tell you, get off the page, jerk off, because <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, but, you know, I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate following the channel. Um, please like and subscribe if you aren't already. And But please comment. You know, I, I like this, this video to be one of the more commented videos just because I'm asking for, you know, your opinions, maybe uh, experiences. Uh, just give me a yes or a no. Give me thumbs up. I don't care. Um, like it. Uh, and, you know, we'll keep putting out the content. So I appreciate you guys. And until next time, uh, you know, we're here in Las Vegas uh, giving you guys more content. So keep killing it, man.